The Create Package Wizard, or simply Packager, is used to package up an environment on your PC by bundling together the files related to a master design file. You can think of this as a zip tool from MicroStation. When in operation, Packager gathers the necessary files such as references, cell libraries, and rendering data, bundling these files together in a packaged zip file, making it easy to distribute the data. Packager works in terms of relative paths rather than absolute pathing, focusing on the reproducibility of the environment, requiring the files in the package to be organized differently than on the source computer. A dynamically generated manifest that records the original absolute file paths is also included. The best way to get a handle on what Packager does and how it works is to look at it in action. Begin by clicking File to open the Backstage view. In the Backstage view, the Packager utility is found under Tools. To start the Create Package utility, click the Packager icon. The Create Package Wizard dialog is displayed. As can be seen in Welcome, the main purpose of Packager is to replicate an environment from a user on one computer for distribution to a user on another computer, potentially from another company where they may not have the same drive and folder structures as on the host computer. To begin creating a package, click Next. You are then prompted for a package name. This is the name of the package zip file or pzip to be created. The pzip is a Bentley version of a zip file with pzip used as the file extension that is applied to the package when created. What makes this file different than a standard zip file is that the resulting zip file contains a bit of extra information in the form of the package's manifest. An extended description may also be provided. When the desired package name and description have been input, click Next. In Select Design Options, you are then prompted to select the types of files from the list provided that should be automatically found and added for each master design file. When the desired types of files have been selected, click Next. Now it is time to gather the design data. You may choose from the following. Current Design loads the current design file and its attachments. Current Directory loads all design files in the same directory as that of the open DGN file. Add Designs allows you to browse and select other design files. Add Directories allows you to browse and select other directories. The recursive toggle searches and gets all design files in the subdirectories from the current directory and down. And Refresh updates your view of the design data. I'm going to select Current Design. You can observe what was added relative to the active design file. The active file is in the list along with various references that are used, including the border attachment, along with the raster image that is displayed in the sheet border. Let's continue to add the files in the current directory. You can see the list is expanded, displaying additional DGN files that are in the same folder as that of the active file, along with any references that are used, including additional raster images. When files beyond the open file are added, each additional file is briefly opened, allowing it to be examined by Packager. It is important to note that depending upon what is selected, this can take a few moments. It is also possible to right-click, accessing a right-click menu. Right-clicking over a file provides additional functionality such as toggle selection, selecting all, selecting and clearing a group, selecting and clearing a category, selecting and clearing a path, and refresh. When the desired files or directories have been added, click Next. Now the Work Set options are displayed. The options may be toggled on or off as desired, here with only cell libraries, DGN libraries, plotting data, and seed files being enabled. When complete, click Next. It is now time to review the selections that were made. In addition to the original design files and raster reference, there are now additional DGNs, aerial photos, and configuration information included in the package. Note that a right-click menu is available here as well. 
Right-clicking a file provides additional functionality such as toggle selection, selecting all, selecting and clearing a group, selecting and clearing a category, selecting and clearing a path, refresh, and extra files. Selecting extra file opens the Select Extra Files dialog, which is used to add additional files to the package. The files are added to an Extras folder. To continue, click Next. In the Package Options, you can see that Create Package is enabled. This is what allows the packaged zip file to be created. In addition, the current package location and compression level is displayed. The pzip files are in standard compression format and can be opened with common zip applications such as WinZip, 7-Zip, or the Windows Zip utility. Observe the file extension. To distinguish a packaged zip file from that of a standard zip file, the file extension pzip is used. MicroStation supplies a pzip extractor tool that may be used to extract the archive. Using the Browse button, it is possible to select the location in which the package file will be created. Also, take note of the Retain Design History toggle. With this enabled, any DGN file that contains design history will retain that history when the DGNs are added to the package. If this toggle is disabled, the design history will be removed from the copy of the DGNs that are being added to the package zip file. I'm going to disable this toggle. Continue by clicking Next. The Packager wizard has been completed with any desired setting set, file selected, and the location of the package identified. To create the package, click Finish. The creation of the package begins with the progress bar being displayed. When the package is complete, the dialog will automatically close. Here, the resulting package zip file can be seen. MicroStation contains an extractor tool, which will be seen in just a few moments. But first, let's review the file outside of MicroStation. From the right-click menu, I am going to open the archive with 7-Zip. Once opened, the archive can be browsed, reviewing the file content, configuration information, and also the manifest. Here, the manifest XML file is displayed using Notepad++. And while the archive file may be opened and extracted using a tool such as 7-Zip, MicroStation also provides a package extractor tool, which can be used to extract the packaged zip file. Double-clicking the pzip file launches the Bentley package extractor, opening the file. From the Bentley package extractor, the package properties may be viewed, the file entries viewed, including enabling or disabling any as desired. and the extraction directory set. Now that the directory to extract to has been chosen, clicking Extract will complete the extraction. The Bentley Package Extractor will then ask whether you would like to launch MicroStation. Observe the No Work Set alert. This is due to the destination PC not containing the same workspace and work set configuration. Clicking Open will open the original active DGN file, doing so with no workspace or work set. You can see that the file is displayed along with its associated references. You may continue to use the files from the folder they were extracted to or migrate the archive into a workspace and work set of your own. The choice is yours.